Just a quick video today, I want to talk to you about uh, artillery stuff from the American Civil War. And specifically, I want to talk to you about some of the things that Mike of Great Finds and I have been finding in some of our upcoming metal detecting videos. I, haven't, I don't think we've really showed too many of them yet, but there's a bunch coming up. And we talk about things like case shot and canister, not grape and stuff like that, and shell versus... Uh, case and you know just a lot of terms we're kind of throwing out and i suspect a lot of you guys don't know the difference between case and canister so i'm going to explain to you right now so you know what we're finding when we're out there and we're talking about is it. is actually pretty cool i have here before me and hopefully you can see it i have grape shot i have canister i have case shot and i have shell a uh, bunch of different things and what i'm going to do is have you come over here and we're going to look at each one individually and i'm going to tell you the difference between the case and the canister and the grape shot pretty interesting stuff Let's come over here and check it out just a quick overview of what we're going to talk about this is canister grape shot grape shot canister case case 69 caliber round ball this is probably just shell, or it could be part of a case shot. We don't know. This is, let me lay down for you. This is a case shot, and this is a case shot too. Now this uh, whole display here was actually gifted to me by Gigmaster, who's a fellow YouTuber. I used to call him Little Tub because he had a little tiny kayak that he used to bring. And it shows a, a case shot. And I'll explain this to you with the balls inside. So we're going to take these one by one. And we'll start with the uh, canister and what that is. So this iron ball right here is an iron ball that I found in the woods in one of the upcoming videos. And I find this and I say, oh, that's canister. Well, what is canister? This is a reconstructed canister. This is something I just put together out of balls just like that that I found is... Uh, camp that I, I used to detect that had hundreds of these in it and what it is it would put into a cannon and it has a thick plate on the bottom a thin plate on the top all this this big stack of iron balls and it would be in a tin can it'd be a can that goes around the outside of it thin metal I don't actually have one of those but thin metal and what they would do when they loaded the cannon they would put the powder charge in it ram it down to the bottom Take the canister, and it just looks like a can of soup or something, put it in the muzzle, ran that down to the bottom. When they fired it, it was like a big shotgun. And all these iron balls would come flying out. I don't know, there's probably 20 or so in there. And these things would come flying out and kill people and horses and break up limbers and wagons and stuff. So that's canister, and that's one of the things we're, we're finding. Now let's look at case. Case shot is totally different. The case shot is little balls, normally, that will be inside of a cannonball or a rifle projectile. This is a rifle projectile, this is a cannonball. This goes out of a smoothbore cannon, this goes out of a rifle cannon. This will have a lot more range and accuracy. This can be loaded faster, and but doesn't shoot quite as far and it's not quite as accurate. All right, so you see these little balls in here. This is what we're finding, Mike and I are finding out in the field, and we say, hey, you've got another piece of case shot. You can see they're not perfectly round. Uh, they'll, off, they'll often have some black on them. Uh, big sprues sticking out. That's where that's where they molded it, uh, poured it into a mold. And the black stuff that you see is actually the tar that's inside the cannonball, or the tar that's inside here. And the reason that's in there is that is to hold in one spot so they don't move around. Because if they were just like laying in here loose when you fired this thing, the cannonball would go through the air one side, you know, the side that was toward the charge when it's going out. That side would have all the balls on it, so it would like... Whoop, Loop, loop through the air and go flying off to the side and have zero accuracy. So they would put this in this matrix, which is usually tar or some type of resin. Another interesting thing, and this is off topic, and maybe we can talk about this a little bit more later, is that you see that this little groove that comes down here, that's what the gunpowder was. This is the fuse, that's the gunpowder, that's all the gunpowder that is in a cannonball that makes it blow up. Amazing, it's just a little tiny bit. Same thing over here, this is all in a uh, matrix. And uh, these balls will fly out. These round balls right here, these are 69 caliber musket balls. And they are usually very, very uniform. That's the way you can kind of tell them apart. Because they have to be very uniform to fit in the musket and fire in such a manner that it actually re retains some of the uh, foot pounds of energy coming out of it and the velocity. Now, these are grape shot. 
Grape shot is different. Grape shot is shot out of big guns. Like guns you might have at a fort or guns that are on ships. Mostly it's for ships. Because grape shot is shot at the top side of a ship to break the rigging, to snap ropes and break the spars and stuff like that. And they come in all different sizes, but they're usually fairly big. So these two are grape shot. This is like a you know regular size grape shot. This is a grape shot that actually weighs six pounds. It's the same type of uh, projectile you would shoot out of a six pound cannon. I think there were like nine or so per stand of grape. And that's what they call it as a stand of grape because it's it would be wrapped up in like a burlap bag. Um, real tight with like ropes around it and stuff like that. I don't know if they came in cans or not. Probably not. Being around salt water, I don't know. I'm not sure. But that's grape shot, grape shot. I wanted to show you a piece of a ramrod because we find we find a lot of pieces of uh, metal out there that look like this. Okay, they were just about that size and they're long. Uh, but when you find a ramrod, uh, typically one end would look like that because that's how it, it you push the projectile down the barrel you'd often have a swelling like this here and the other end this would be like three feet long the other end would have screws on it talk about that in these upcoming videos as well but i just wanted to show that to you all right they talk about everything we've got canister case shot grape shot something called shell shell is just a cannonball that explodes and it just throws up these iron chunks it doesn't have anything in it that's called shell, and we'll talk about that too in these upcoming videos. All right, hopefully that made a little bit of sense. It'll make watching the videos that are coming up over the next week or so uh, a little bit easier to understand. Anything else you want me to talk about? You just let me know, and I'll do it. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it 